the whatever it is 19th of April 2021 and um, <clears throat> I'm feeling ropey <clears throat> got a frog in my throat um, <clears throat> had a brilliant day yesterday car boots two car boots spent a phenomenal amount of money it's all dumped in the shop I haven't done anything else with it and got back about half past three in the afternoon and then cooked dinner and cleaned up a bit and did all that and then I started to get a headache and I know what it is it's just my body going what the hell you haven't had enough to drink you've been out in the sun you've been on the go all day and my body just doesn't like it so uh started to get a headache last night and then this during the night I had a really bad headache and this morning um but I've got my vaccination today I've got to leave in like three quarters of an hour so I got myself out of bed at about half past six and thought I've got to drink water I've got to drink water but I think I drank it too quick and then I had to throw up <laughs> um but I do feel a bit better now so just got to go drive to the vaccination centre have the vaccine and the huge list of jobs that I wanted to do will have to wait unless I feel okay when I get back. So let's see how it goes. Um, I can't even remember what I bought yesterday at the car boot. It's like a whirlwind. I did get a pair of really nice lamps um, without the shades. So I've got to try and find shades from somewhere, but I got a, a couple of um, big table lamps. Um, and I've brought those upstairs, but everything else is still in the shop. So at some point, I will show you. Right, I'm nearly ready to go off for my vaccine, but I thought I'd quickly show you uh, the pile of stuff that I got from the auction. You won't be able to see individual items because it's just in a big pile. That box is full of like crockery. And then down here, vase, a uh, bucket, another vase, a planter, bag full of stuff four crates full of stuff, a basket with a few bits in, a laundry basket, and then a few wooden carving things down here as well. It's about half past 11 and I'm back from my vaccination. It all went really smoothly, a little bit surreal, the whole experience, but um, yeah, absolutely fine. So uh, my son's at work, my daughter's at school, so I'm just making the most of one of the only times I've been on my own in the house and I'm just going to sit in peace and quiet and try and drink plenty of water and tea and stuff just chill out for an hour or so and then I'll see how I feel see if I can crack on with some of those things on my list right so it's about quarter past one and um I've come down to the shop Mondays is my days off as such so I work in the shop Tuesday to Saturday, Sundays is car boots or auction viewings and Mondays is days off slash auction viewings, that kind of thing. Um, but to be fair, if I had been feeling better, I probably would have opened up today. <laughs> um, but I thought one, I'm too excited. Sorry, I thought somebody was coming in. One, I'm too excited to leave all this stock. It's like Christmas, isn't it? Um, I need to have a look what I bought because I can't remember. And two, I thought I'd show you some of it. I'm not going to go through everything because there's too much. But I thought if I got one bag or one box and showed you what's in it, maybe I'll show you some more another day. Okay, so I thought we'd start with this cardboard box of crockery type stuff. I don't normally pick up a lot of plates and things because... One, they're slow sellers, and two, usually you can get them really cheap at auctions and stuff. But I really like the pattern on these, so I went for it. Oh, in here as well is a good old brown Betty teapot. So I picked that up. Um, it's a good old one. You can tell by the glaze and stuff. So you can't go wrong with a big brown teapot. Um, and then these are the plates. By the way, I haven't looked anything up. Uh, so I don't know values or anything. So there's the pattern. Can you see? Isn't that lovely. Crown de cow 
Ducal, where, I don't know how you pronounce that. Anyway, I've got um, a pile of plates. I don't know how many there is. Looks like seven that size, which is like a small dinner plate. Then I've got some bigger ones, dinner plate size. How many of those have I got? Six of those. And I've got a one, two, three, four, five, six little dessert bowls. And then a big platter with the same pattern. Um, I just really liked them and I just thought they were really a lovely design. So I went for those and I don't normally. So that was first. Um, I showed you these carvings. They're not particularly old, but um, I have had one it, before. It wasn't painted. It was just plain wooden, similar to this. Um, and these were a set of three decreasing in size oh, these are the two bigger ones and then one more smaller one um, and then I also got the three monkeys that I showed you see if I can hold them up you see so I thought they were kind of cool and the meerkat for some reason don't know why why not is the answer <laughs> um, so shall we start with one of these crates and see what's inside it? Your guess is as good as mine. Oh boy, I can see this on the top. I spotted this. I think this might be a key keeper for me. Uh, it's a paper mache box. Um, I mean, I just stunning. How can anybody sell that? I don't think I can sell it. I think it might be a keeper. Uh, Another little paper mache box. This one is a cat. Um, what else have we got? Oh, some candlesticks. Just two plain wooden candlesticks. I thought they were sort of nice classic shape. Um, oh, I picked this up for some reason. I was right at the beginning when I was kind of like, I need to buy things an egg box to put your eggs in um yeah not sure why i picked that up but anyway uh some coasters in a little case kind of cute i had something similar to that and sold it oh some put mary in little coffee cans and saucers so there's only two but little coffee cups and saucers sorry a call just came through just as i was videoing that um and then from a different stall i got the slightly bigger cup and saucer port marion one um port marion's always really popular so i always try and pick up especially vases and jugs and things, but cups and saucers as well. Uh, over the last, well, before Christmas and in the last week, I've sold a lot of vases. So I was on the lookout for vases because obviously it's summer, spring, people want vases. Um, I got this one. Um, it's Millennium Belik. Um, I think this is stunning. Slightly spoilt by the gold rim, I think. I think it would have been nicer without the gold, but still a really nice vase. Um, yeah, that'll look lovely on the shelf with my selection of vases. Um, I got this, which I think has got a, a lid, so it's almost like a ginger jar. Um, let me see, be in the, in the crate somewhere. Right. That goes with that one. So I got another one, sort of Japanese satsuma, but it's just like mass produced stuff. But still people like this oriental stuff. So I'll add that to my oriental type cabinet or in the window I often have a display of. 
another vase it's got the peacocks on i do like peacocks but again it's just a, a mass produced thing but still pretty for flowers um and i wanted to increase my flat vase range so i was picking them up oh there's the lid for that one so that'll go in my cabinet and nice lacquered box with coasters they're lovely really nice i haven't checked them all let's see one two three four five six yeah they're really in really nice condition so i'm pleased with those and another lacquered box with a bird on <laughs> oh a box inside a box and another box inside a box so three boxes in total like that yeah do like Japanese lacquered boxes so that is that crate empty right maybe I'll show you another crate okay I'll show you a few more things um, and then the rest I'll leave for another day uh, so I know that some of you out there love my jugs so here we go jug fest this one classic always a seller I mean how gorgeous does that look with some daffodils or use as a milk jug beautiful 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 so pick that up all day long bit of treacle glaze i mean i can't say it would be my favorite jug but it stands out it's got something it's got a bit of character hasn't it i think somebody will like that one um a bit of pottery oops something fell out of there probably a dead spider or something again not my favorite it does say devon pottery though i've not i don't recognize that glaze looks a bit like kernewek is it kernewek something like that they have that sort of spotty glaze um it's very light not like a, um a solid pottery one this one um let's see who's it by jacobean ae gray and co um i just think the shape is beautiful um that is stunning with flowers inside um, or water jug or a milk jug or whatever uh, so I think the shape of that is going to sell it so picked that one up and the last of my jugs is this little uh, it says three pounds I didn't pay three pounds a little Denby one with a lid uh, is that a milk jug some sort of coffee jug i'm not sure but um i mean you can't go wrong with a dark blue like that anyway right a few more bits in this box well i've still got the energy because i can feel my energy flagging already uh first thing i picked up at the car boot first thing this year at the car boot so this is what i got two tins these two i love this one it's just a classic tea tin it's got tigers on it and let's see what does it say Oh, it's Sainsbury's actually. It's only from 94, but um, yeah, I just like that one. And this, I assume, is um, what it looks like. Quality Street, doesn't it? Whether it is or not. Um, with a cherub, it says Round Trees Tokens. I've not heard of that. Um, but I just, I, I love the colours. So those were the first two I picked up at the car boot, first things. And then there's a few other random bits. So a nice little box. It's lined, heart shaped. Uh, a bird with a crown. I assume it's like Egyptian um, tourist wear, you know. Sorry, you have to bear with me in my brain. Uh, it's post my brain, so it's on a go slow. It <laughs> I can feel it takes a while for my brain to catch up, my mouth to catch up with my brain. 
uh, pewterware. I would think I haven't looked, but it looks like the Norwegian pottery uh, pewter. I forget what it's called, especially today. Um, but I've sold some of this kind of stuff before, and it's a nice bud vase, so that should go well. Elephants for my elephant collection. It's got a price on it there. <laughs> Little wooden one. He's got missing a, a tusk, but that doesn't matter. Oh, I got a couple of mugs. I tend to pick up china mugs, um, you know, like the fine china, bone china ones, but these are not fine bone china. They're Port Marion water garden, but I just thought they were a nice, nice mugs. Um, so I'll put those out. Remember, um, most of my stuff sells in the shop, so I don't have to think about posting and fees and all that sort of thing. This I just picked up, it's in a sorry old state, but I just pretty, thought the box was really pretty. Somebody's put tape around it, so I'm assuming it's falling apart. So I might have a go at fixing it. Um, and then it's got some counters inside it. But I thought the top of the box is really pretty, so it might be worth a go. Um, another classic teapot, but this one in like a cobalt blue doesn't have a maker's mark underneath it says something I think it says PSI I'm not sure uh, just a pretty old teapot what else oh we were walking back to the car because we've got a load, a load look, we're laden up already and then I just spotted these so I stopped and went oh Eagles, a pair of eagles, brass eagles on little wooden plinths. Um, you know, because they're eagles on wooden plinths, why not? There you go. That's a good enough reason, isn't it? As I say, my brain is on go slow today, so don't expect any reason or sense out of me. I liked this little elephant. It's like Clozone. Um... I think I like the toes best, the little blue toes. Is that focusing? I'm not so sure about the beaded headdress thing, but the blue toes were a seller. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, oh yes, tiny little cloisonne vase. Really pretty, look at that. Stunning. I nearly left that behind. I picked up a few other things. And then I saw this elephant, bought that, and I was just walking away and then spotted the little Clazone vase. I was like, oh, I'll have that. Thank you very much. Whoops. Last thing in this box, oh, a bit of studio pottery. Again, I just look for nice studio pottery colours that I like. This is a sort of blue with darker blue spots and then a mottled inside. It is signed but i think it's just like a uh, an individual it just says jeanette 99 um still a very pretty bowl so that is that box done i'm not going to do any more because i'm already talking gibberish i can tell so i'm going to tidy this stuff up so that it's not all over the floor for tomorrow and uh probably going to round up the vlog so i hope you all had a great weekend um i hope you picked up some really good stuff i will show you the rest of the things in the next few days but uh i'm gonna go and have a lie down <laughs> take care stay safe and i'll see you soon okay are you ready i'll show you a few more bits oh dear losing you there are we ready no you're still going selfie in the vase stop it now behave yourself let's try again Thank you.